Today we're going to introduce the incidence rate function within the Atlas platform. On the left hand menu you can see the option for incidence rate and if you click that you'll be brought to a series of incidence rate analyses. An incidence rate analysis is the ability to explore one or more target cohorts to estimate the incidence of one or more outcomes within the target population as well as within specific patient subpopulations. When you click on incidence rate, you're brought to a screen that lists all of the existing incidence rate analysis specifications. And if you're interested in creating a new analysis, you can go to the top right blue button that says new analysis. Let's explore this existing incidence rate analysis, incidence of outcomes during hypertensive treatment. I will click on this hyperlink and that will bring us open to the design specification for this incidence rate analysis. In an incidence rate analysis definition, we have to identify the set of study cohorts of interest. We have to identify one or more target cohorts representing the population at risk of experiencing some outcome, and the outcome cohorts representing the specific outcomes of interest to study within the target population. To add target cohorts, you simply click this green button, add target cohort, and by clicking that, you are able to review a list of all cohort definitions specified in the Atlas platform. Simply select a cohort definition to add to the list. Here we've selected two target cohorts, new users of ACE inhibitors as first-line monotherapy for hypertension and new users of thiazide-like diuretics as first-line monotherapy for hypertension. Once you've selected your target cohorts, you can then repeat the process to add outcome cohorts. Simply click this red button that says Add Outcome Cohort, and you're brought to the same listing of cohort definitions that exist within your Atlas platform, and you can simply click the outcomes that you are interested in. Here, I've selected the outcome of acute myocardial infarction events and the outcome of angioedema events. Based on this specification, I'm now looking at two different target cohorts and two different outcome cohorts, meaning that we will be estimating the incidence rate for four target outcome pairs. For each of those target outcome pairs, we need to define a time at risk. This represents the time window relative to the target cohort start or end for which we are looking to determine if an outcome has occurred. Here we can define the time at risk start relative to either the start date or the end date of the target cohort. Here we've specified that the time at risk starts with the target cohort start date plus one day, meaning for example, the day after you initiate therapy of ACE inhibitors. And the time at risk end is currently ending at the target cohort end date plus zero days, meaning that we will be looking for outcomes that occur from the day after you've initiated treatment through to the end of treatment. In addition to specifying the time at risk, you have the options to specify a study window, which is the calendar time for which you are interested in examining the incidents, and optionally can define uh, one or more stratification criteria representing specific ways to uh, stratify your target populations into subgroups. Here I've defined three stratification criteria. The first is gender equals male, meaning we will stratify the population on the basis of whether they have a gender that equals to male. A second stratification criteria is based on age being greater than 65. And a third criteria is based on patients having a prior diagnosis of diabetes mellitus. And here that rule is classified by a criteria that says having at least one occurrence of a condition occurrence record of diabetes with the event of diabetes starting uh, any time prior to and up to the day zero index date of the target cohort. In other words, we are looking at new users of ACE inhibitors. We are looking in their medical history to see if they have a diagnosis code of diabetes based on the concepts within this diabetes uh, concept set expression represented here by either diabetes mellitus or diabetic complication codes. Once you have specified your design definition, 
um, you can now uh, generate this analysis. To generate, you simply go to the Generate tab, click the Generate button, and you are able to select whichever data sources within your Atlas platform that you would like to execute. Simply select the databases and click Generate to perform the analysis. Here you can see we have generated the analysis for two sources. Up top, you can see which of the target cohorts we have selected. Here we've selected new users of ACE inhibitors as first-line monotherapy for hypertension. And we can select which of the outcomes we are interested in exploring. Here we've selected acute myocardial infarction events. So to interpret the results in source one, we can see that we had 613,000 new users of ACE inhibitor potentially at risk for acute myocardial infarction. Amongst the, that patient population, we observed 2,686 cases of acute myocardial infarction. That provides us an incidence proportion of 4.37 per 1,000 persons. Uh, on the basis of the time at risk being 495,000 uh, person years, this also provides us an incidence rate of 5.42 uh, cases per person year. We can see each of our data sources are listed out with these associated incidence rate estimates. If I click the report button to the right of this high-level summary, we can drill down to explore these estimates further. Here, I've clicked on source one, and we can see the summary statistics repeated up top, but now we can examine the impact of the stratification criteria that we opposed, uh, imposed in our design. Specifically, we can see three stratification criteria listed here, and we can see the marginal impact of each of these criteria independently. So for example, criteria one, gender equals male, we can see that 364,000 of the 613,000 were in fact males. And amongst those, we had 1,700 cases. That provided us an incidence proportion of 4.66 and an incidence rate of 5.84 per thousand person years. If we look at our stratification of has prior diagnosis of diabetes mellitus, we see that uh, 166,000 amongst the 613,000 had a prior diagnosis of diabetes. Um, we had 1,061 cases of acute myocardial infarction for an incidence proportion of 6.36 per thousand, thousand persons and an incidence rate of 7.95 per thousand person years. To the right, you see a tree map representation that highlights the impact of each of these stratification criteria together. Because we have three criteria, each of these representing a dichotomous uh, classification, that means that there is a total of uh, eight different uh, subpopulations represented by these criteria. Highlighting each of these boxes shows you which of the criteria are satisfied, colored in black, and which ones are uh, failed, colored in red. The color of the, the size of the box represents the proportion of the population satisfying that specific criteria, and the color represents the incidence, uh, incidence rate per, per thousand person years. So here we can see the group in red is the group that is at highest risk. The group that actually is male over the age of 65 and with prior diabetes has an incidence rate of 13.79 per thousand person years. Uh, this represents only 4% of the population, but it's a, it's a subpopulation that actually has a much greater risk profile. In contrast, those that are female, aged less than 65, who don't have diabetes, the incidence rate for that population, which rep represents 20% of the population, is 1.95 per thousand person years. This concludes our walkthrough of the incidence rate analysis tool. If you're interested in learning more about Atlas or anything without, throughout the Odyssey community, uh, check us out at odyssey.org.